It is 7 p.m. Vesper time. Good evening, viewers, and welcome to today's special edition with our CVP, Chopin Vesper Personality, who is a brilliant lawyer and a senior advocate of Nigeria. But I'll be quick to disappoint you that you will not be hearing anything constitutional, human rights, or cessation, and all that. We will be hearing him speak from a Christian standpoint, giving us his uh, legal opinion and interpretation of hymns. We sang this particular hymn composed really as Vesper every single night when, as a family, when we lived with our parents. I, my father made me play the piano from, I think, age 11 to 12 and throughout secondary, university, until the night before I left my parents' home. For my, I'll be playing like that again tonight, hopefully the same way, but um, pardon me if there are one or two um, wrong notes. I hope not. The Vesper is to buttress the words of St. Augustine that anyone who sings hymns prays twice. Singing hymns is praying twice. I will read out the lyrics quickly in English, though the rendition is going to be in Yoruba. Lord, keep us safe this night, secure from all our fears. May angels guard us while we sleep till morning light appears. Amen. Please let us pray twice by singing together. Hello viewers, my name is Oluwenimo Ogundi. I'm here on the invitation of Church Organ Projects in Nigeria, Chopin, led by my good friend Larry Delano. To talk to you about hymns. I'm a great lover of hymns and I have followed with keen interest the Chopin hymn series of Sunday mornings and evenings which has run for several weeks now. I've also listened to Martin Lekebosch who gave a deeply inspiring talk on why we should sing hymns. He titled it What's the point of singing hymns? I'll take two of ten reasons that Martin gave when he encouraged us to sing hymns. He said hymn singing is corporate and that hymn singing is ecumenical. Hymn singing is corporate because when we sing together, we help to bear one another's body. And that the act of singing in a congregation helps to join others to share what we have in common, which is our Christian faith. Now, I want to illustrate with some hymns how these points resonate with me. I'll take the hymn, Now Thank We All Our God. Now, as a Yoruba Christian, I sing that hymn. A for we for Now that hymn actually has a German origin. It was originally written by a German clergyman Martin Rinkert in 1636, and it took the great effort of an English lady, Catherine Cox, to actually bring it into hymnody, Catherine Winkworth, sorry. Now, it was from the English hymnody that it found its way into Yoruba hymnody. I give another example. Who are these like stars appearing that we sing this way? ta la wo wo ye bi ra wo mi wa ju te mi mo that's another hymn that has a German origin. It was written by Theobald Schenk in 1719 and it was translated into English by another great English lady, Elizabeth Cox. Now, if you look at the transition of this hymn, 
over several generations and through many languages. You will see how these two hymns help to bring so many of us together and to take us out of our immediate locality, takes us out of our immediate group, out of our immediate locality, out of our denomination, out of our nationality, and even out of our generation. And so because hymns transcend all these barriers, that's why Martin Lekebosch said that hymn singing is ecumenical. Now, if we want to develop the point also that hymn singing is corporate, I use another hymn, Abide With Me, Fast Falls the Hidden Tide. This is a hymn of Harry Francis Light that's used in several Christian funerals. And it doesn't matter whether the person who is dead is English or German or French. Anywhere, Henry Francis Light him bring us all together as Christians. And we all sing that same funeral. I'm going to stop there this week. And in part two of this theme that I'm developing, which I have called What Hymns Have Taught Me, I'm going to share with you some other experiences to encourage you to keep singing hymns. Until then, God bless you and goodbye. Special grace, it's good night. Odaro. Oh,